What's up Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another part of our Abbasid campaign for 1212 AD. And in the last episode we did decide to declare war on the Principality of Antioch. And we are now besieging Aleppo. Uh, we are also uh, at war with Trebizond because of it and Silesia and I think the Latin Empire as well. Or someone else, someone over here. It might be the Latin Empire. Yeah, I think it might be. And hopefully we can take uh, Aleppo from them and... A short amount of time. They are starving out already. I presume down to lack of food. Their garrison's not looking great either. So we should be able to deal with that. Have they got... Oh, Antiochian knights are also looking very similar to the English knights at this point. We're recruiting a new army in Mosul just to kind of keep Mosul under control. It's not looking so great at the moment. We also colonized down here and took uh, al Juaf for ourselves. Which we are slowly colonizing and doing stuff with. And we took Herat from uh, the Quasmarine Empire, which is now dead. And we are going to probably be starting a war with either the Mongols or with the Quasmarine Pretenders very soon. Over here, this place is probably uh, freed up and we can probably start sending our troops through. I'm going to do this. It's minus three. I can live with minus three. So we'll just put in a pleasure house and that should sort out any issues there. Right, so I'm gonna end the turn and we will see what happens. So yeah, we'll try and get these, uh, try and get that army up uh, over here that's now in the Gurid territories all the way up to Herat. And then we can move on to the Mongols with two stacks. So I hope you guys are all doing well and uh, staying safe in these trying times. Oh my gosh, here comes the Holy Roman Empire. They're actually sending an army over. Wow, I've never seen them ever do this. Never seen them actually commit to the uh, crusade. I am surprised. <laughs> okay, and Trevisond is sending stacks over as well. This is a bit of a concern. Antioch has sallied out. Okay, so we may have a battle straight away. We don't have any cavalry, but they do. That is a concern. Um, so I'm going to uh, fight this one on the battlefield. So I will see you guys in a moment as we fight Antioch for the first time. So we are back on the battlefield and we've got our army set up. We've got our archers out front, swords in behind, spears on the flank. Our general protecting our Nafatoons and that is how we're going to go with it. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to quickly rush this army. See if I can kill this off quickly enough. Before this whole army arrives, which I'm not quite sure... It might be this guy who's... Yeah, I think it's this guy. It's uh, in command, so we need to kill him off as well. Luckily, the Crusader cavalry isn't so well armoured, and they're only mounted mounted sergeants. These guys don't look too armoured. Though I'll go and say that now, and they'll go and actually be really hard to take out. But they do look epic. Antioch... I need to play Antioch a bit more. They are. They do look very good. Hopefully we can get some shots off on them before they uh, get within range. No, apparently we're just going to run. Can we have a volley? A volley, please. Oh, the cavalry's going to get us. I had these guys in skirmish mode. They stopped and then I gave the order and then apparently that was enough for them to carry on. It's my better archers as well, which is a concern. Can you get out of there, please? I guess you carry on firing over here. Crossbows also, you might as well just fire at these guys. Oh, the cavalry's all arrived. Wow, look at that. Look at that. The cavalry just overwhelming itself trying to get here. Right, the rest of you guys, can you just form shield wall, please? We're going to need to survive this cavalry charge that's coming. But we should uh, mop up all this cavalry here. We're just then. He is indeed attacking our general. Yeah, archers all just get behind here. Archers all just get behind here. There we go. We broke that cavalry unit. Prepare for the second cavalry charge. Please, archers, don't do this to me. It's just painful. You just gotta. Oh no! I mean, at least the cavalry charges on the archers aren't as bad. 
But we're going to catch that cavalry with my spears. Archers here, just start firing on everything else back here. Archers, all of you, fire on the general. You charge there. Excellent. Okay, we're looking okay. It could be worse. Okay, this archer unit's in a pretty bad state, though. Oh, and now the cavalry's coming out. It's going to chase these guys down. I swear to God. These are really good archers. I want to keep these guys alive. I'm going to need them for the next firefight. Oh, he's actually missed them. There, we caught these ones. Okay, apparently we, we caught these guys, but no. Um, right, pull these guys back. Archers, get over here. There we go. Okay, we caught them again. Shh, keep shooting that general and we'll be fine. Don't know why my spears are all the way over there. We're getting just caught out. Uh, there we go. Carry on. Keep these guys. Keep focusing down on these guys. We should be fine. We are winning. Actually, no, we're not winning that fight. We're losing that fight. Uh, swords, you might want to turn around here. But we're looking okay. It's just the cavalry. If we can kill, kill this cavalry, we'll be fine. Arch units just keep shooting here. Nafatoons get back. You're uh, very much in the firing line. Losing that fight there. Oh, that's the other general. We need to kill him. Form shield wall, if you haven't already. Who's this? Just order cavalry. Okay. We'll deal with them in time. We're getting pretty beaten up. Okay, that cavalry's nearly gone. Swords here. Get ready to engage. We'll shoot these Templar crossbows. Why not? Shoot those guys. They de they deserve it. Uh, shoot this Dismantian. Actually... Antioch Knights. Yeah, keep killing these goddamn cavalry with all my spears, which I've got, like, just lying around out there. Spears here. They're doing their bit. Uh, archers, can you just pull back? I don't know why you're here. Same with the spears. We're just going to pull them all back. We're just going to pretend that, that cavalry's not there. Um, okay, charge in. Our swords over here are just getting absolutely... Harass. We just need one unit of cavalry in this army and we'll be perfectly fine. But this is uh, certainly going to do some damage to the army that's besieging here. Put it like that. Right, I'm going to put some Nafatoons in here. We're going to need some Nafatoons. Cause them havoc. Finally, we broke those, that cavalry over there. Really good. Yep. Yeah, uh, throw Nafatoons in here and we will cause some nasty damage. That wasn't bad, that wasn't bad. Actually, keep firing in here. There's a big blob of them in here. Keep breaking them, keep breaking these guys. We broke that cavalry, excellent. Oh, and that unit's just going to get absolutely harassed. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Did not see that till too late. Yeah, that unit's gone. That's annoying. Right, that... Nafatoons have broken them there. One unit... What, throw one round in here. It's going to be a big risk, but... Throw one round in there. Okay, hold your fire. That was... <laughs> that hit the general. <laughs> that was not good. Okay, charge. Break all this stuff. We've done that. Great. Start shooting at all the archers over here, please. Okay, this unit rallied. Pull it back. Their crossbow should surely just break. I just need 
one unit cavalry. I really am so annoyed. Why don't I not have one unit? Do something with them. Uh, infantry are rejoining the fight. Oh shoot, this unit here is in uh, small form, uh, it's not in loose formation, so we can get that unit, that'll be really, really, really good. Yeah, we can break that unit, very nice, okay, carry on. Yeah, we're in for a rough ride here. Our general died. What? Oh, this is gonna be fun then. We might lose this because we lost our general there. That is gonna be frustrating. Well, we caught one of the crossbow units. Yeah, look at that. Units are starting to waver just because the general died. They lost their generals a long time ago. Why haven't they broken? That is utter rubbish. Okay, well, we start. We did break that unit. Caught more crossbows over here. These guys shouldn't be wavering. Okay, they're, they're starting to wave, I mean, they're starting to break, but a big cost, put it like that. I'm just going to blob up all my infantry and just try and charge them all after one unit. Right, I'm just going to fast forward for the sake of this. I might just make a cut and just, uh, you, so you don't have to see this, because this is getting very, very frustrating. Yeah. Oh, brilliant! So we're go we're going to lose this battle, I think, cause just because we can't we can't beat some crossbows. Right, so I'm going to just cut, uh, so you don't, guys don't have to see this, and I'll see you guys in a moment on the battlefield. So we have had a close defeat, it would seem. Basically, I spent a lot of time there uh, just trying to skirmish them down and trying to chase them. Uh, I'm not really sure how we lost that, to be honest. The infantry did so well, it was literally just archers left. Uh, if I had one unit of cavalry, that would have been all I would have needed, and I didn't have it. So the army's kind of just got punished for that. So the Siege of Aleppo is going to be raised, and we're going to have to come back another day. I don't know if we're going to lose any troops. Probably, yeah. Oh my gosh, we lost a lot of infantry and obviously our general as well. That is a concern. But uh, we will do something about that. So I'm going to have to just bring a bigger army and I'm pretty pretty pissed at that. We should not have lost that battle. Um, that's infuriating, put it like that. And it looks like Jerusalem's retaken Me Mecca's like Famagusta. <laughs> I can't believe Mecca took Cyprus from Jerusalem. How the heck did they get over there? No, I don't want to join your war against the Ayubis pretenders. I've got my own problems. Uh, their demands. Yep, sure, you can have her. Have her for 4,000. Um, right, so Sword of Islam, you are not of my family. None of you guys actually are, so which one of you is best? Probably you, Marksman. There you go, Mohammed. Uh, let's deal with this issue now. So Swords of Islam will need to retreat into Mosul. They are still starving, which is good. I'm going to start recruiting some better troops and, more importantly, some cavalry. Which are apparently going to take three turns. Why are they taking three turns? They don't usually take three turns. Ready for I could get crossbow cavalry. Kind of tempted to try them out. Um, no, I'm going to get... Hmm. Do that. Get to work. Let's get some cavalry and some ghulam for 
uh, foot guard. I'm going to also bring up the army from here because this is not, not needed here anymore. Then this one will have cavalry and also ghoulams as well. It's at minus four currently, but that will sort itself out in no time. This can then become a uh, just a city of its own. We all... Uh, Ibrahim died. Oh no. And then obviously we've had more people die and... Rejection. Oh no, he, had a re he got rejected. What a shame. Um, we've got plenty of people about to come of age as well. Excellent. Is there anyone here? Yeah, I actually didn't check. Is there anyone in my family tree that can... Oh, he can become an Amir. Ah, nice. Then you can also become an Amir. Go on, you do that. And then, yeah, we've lost a lot of troops. We've got money. Spare our garrison. Not garrison. Our army over here that's moving up. There you are. You can move up to Herat so you can get to there. These are two nearly full stacks. I really need to make them actual full stacks. Uh, I might put in some... Just some cheap spears. And then we'll put in some more swords in this line. There we go. Excellent. Now we are probably going to... Oh, this is going to take ages for this army to replenish. Well, it's going to apparently take four turns. It's going to take another turn for these guys to get up there. I'll probably give them the three turns that need for the uh, troops to replenish, and that is going to be it. Is there any diplomacy I can do that I'd want to do? I Welcome. doubt I can offer any wives to anyone, so we're just going to end the turn. Power through these turns so I can uh, basically replenish the uh, replenish the army and send the other army up to support. Holy Roman Empire has decided to pull back its uh, army. I don't know why. Maybe it's just, I don't know, not going to bother. Just not going to bother in a... The Crusade. <laughs> no, we've decided we've got other places to be. We're going to go all the way back to Germany after traveling all the way to Egypt. Ah, oh, no surprise there. Trebizond has decided that it's uh, not finished and it's going to have a fight. So it looks like we're going to lose this army, which is frustrating. I don't really want to fight this. So I'm going to uh, probably be losing this army. I'm just going to just defensive. Yeah, what a shame. So Trebizond has decided to just kill that army. Uh, who was that? That was... I have no idea who that was. That might have been one of my... That might have been the Prince's army or something. No, the Prince's army is in the east. Anyway, Antioch is saved by Trebizond, annoyingly. So we've taken another back... Uh, Step backwards. Uh, the Ayubis, what are you doing? Are oh, they just pushing back the uh, Holy Roman Empire? No, go away. I don't want anything to do with you. I will rebuild the army probably in Baghdad, not in Mosul or in Basra. I'll put it somewhere that's not going to get attacked by the Trebizond army. No, Quasmarine Empire, you're not having, or Quasmarine Pretenders, you're not having any sort of deal. There we go. So Muhammad's dead. He just. Just got his command and he died straight away. Rebellion imminent. Uh, I'm just going to decree it. There you go. Yeah, it's going to be a rebellion imminent, but I don't really care. Um, let's put in a... Let's put in a... Where is it? A funduk. And then let's put in... Down here. A funduk as well. Yep, yeah, so the Swords of Islam is gone. I'm going to rebuild it here in Basra. So let's reinstate the legacy with Yusuf. He is one of my dynasty. I'm going to put in a cavalry unit as his general. I'm going to actually commit to that. Um, Ghulam, Footguard, no. We won't build any of them. We'll just build swords to start with. That will save. That will save some time and effort. Right, this army I'm going to just put into Baghdad for now. Oh no, let's put it into Erbil. Because this is the next place into threat. And its garrison's not brilliant. It also might rebel. Even though it's 
got a lot of positive stuff going on in its city. Um, right, Basra, there's not much I can do about you. It's just the disease that's really causing the issue. And warriorness is back up to 16% just because we lost that army, I think. You're going to take one more turn and then we can start our assault on the Mongols. Is there anything up here? No, the Mongols are not around here. Can confirm the Mongols are nowhere in sight. That is good. Right. Uh, Scourge Christianity, you might as well become a full stack as well. I'm going to try and get some more money so I can afford to do this. Um, these guys. Have we got everything with you? Military access. I don't really want to give it to you. Malachate of... Please. Oh man, no, not much I can do there. A Ubid Sultanate. Nope. These guys? No. Um. So it looks like. Uh, actually, wait a minute. These guys are still here. Greetings, most excellent. No. Okay. So there's not much I can do in the way of money. So I'm just gonna end the turn again. Gonna find out what I can do. This is getting a bit frustrating. It's getting a bit frustrating. I was about to take Aleppo. Um. Just shows why you should attack with two stacks apparently in 1212 because one stack just isn't enough to take on a garrison army and a small army on its own. A garrison army which really shouldn't be able to do much. It looks like uh, the Holy Roman Empire might have lost its stack as well in Egypt. But we will see what happens. Empire of Trebizond's falling back. Good. Shouldn't be here. And now they're going to just do some stuff in Aleppo. How good of them. I'm going to get another spy, I think, as well, just so I can keep an eye on what Trebizond is doing. They're still starving as Antioch. They can't actually afford to have an army. They're just relying on ga on their um, garrisons. And they're starting to get depleted as well. So I should start to swoop in and take Aleppo next turn. If I wanted to. I'm probably going to. Mecca doing his thing. Um, fools deserve only death. Can you yep, sure. I'll join war against the EU pretenders. There you go. My Lord. 900, I'll do it. So we've lost some more people. We've had noble birds. Wavering loyalty. And these places are still starving. Oh, so this place here, the stack that I've just literally sent up is going to starve and die. Um, I'm going to try and besiege this place again. Could I find out what's over here with this army spy? Okay, so the army's still here, the Blades of Mercy. I'm not going to try it. So yeah, Mosul's going to uh, rebel. I'm going to just get the sanitation up here again. Um, Scourge Christianity, go down here. Unfortunately, yeah, they're starving, but it's not much I can do about that. Not much I can do. I'm going to put in some just cheap arches. Uh, so this army becomes a, quickly becomes a full stack. Basra, you're looking okay. Can't spend any money here. Why can I not spend him? Do we not have the manpower? Potentially not. What is our population looking like, Basra? I forget how you look at population in this goddamn game. In this goddamn mod. Um, population, here we go. I'm sure this is how we look at it. No. Do they not have po I don't know. I can't remember. I swear we would have had a population, but apparently not. So we don't have a population to actually recruit there, so we'll have to move on. Um, have plus three public order, and then also do... I guess do zeal. Doesn't really do anything at the moment, but it'll eventually do stuff. Um, you've had a population surplus. Excellent. So we actually need to probably spend our stuff here. Let's put food in. Um, fields are going to be needed because it's going to be going minuses in a moment when we get this provincial capital going. Antioch pretenders are a thing. Okay. And now let's start our war against the Mongols. Uh, They're going to be joined by a lot of people. Laying siege to the settlement. But there's no way in he there's no way they could possibly 
punishment for you, beat me back lord. here. I have two full stacks. And these are probably my best armies. The Crown Prince will do me proud. And yeah, we have another guy. <laughs> the Crown Prince and another guy. We have plenty of cav. Um, if they bring like a cav heavy army, I'll just defend, sit back, defend. Um, campaign movement range for all navies. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Don't really care about much of this other stuff. I'm going to just build that one. There we go. Patronage of anatomy. We've got gold uh, chevron units over there. Interesting. Okay. My lord. Let's keep an eye and see what's going to happen here. Can we build a agent? We could build a, another imam. Let's do it. Can Yusuf can become my new imam. 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 imam, imam. Whatever you want to call him. But yeah, he's going to have to stay there for a few turns. This is basically just unhappy because I sacked it, isn't it? Yeah, instability is still minus 13. So it's still a bit of an issue. Um, so I probably shouldn't be sacking places left, right and center. It does cause a lot of problems. Um, here, it's just religious difference. We are slowly sorting that out. And it also just doesn't like disease and war weariness. So again, we're sorting these, these things out. There's not much else I can do about that. So, yeah, when I finish off Antioch, I'm probably going to just slow it down in the expansion a little bit. Just, you know, see what I can do. But yeah, we need probably to end this turn again. Just end the turn and then we can... Uh, then we can deal with everything else. Oh, okay, so someone's... Yeah, there you go. An army's risen up. A rebel army. We might have to put that down. I hope you guys have all been enjoying the episode. It's been a bit of a setback episode. Um, but we are making some headway. Making s <laughs> We are making some headway, even though we're having setbacks. We are uh, basically going to be taking out the Mongol settlement probably next turn. And we're also going to be hopefully taking Aleppo, because Aleppo just cannot withstand <laughs> um, like one assault. One assault should be enough. Just need a one big enough army that's going to be enough to push back uh, Trebizond. Which I think we can do with this army. It's got cavalry and it's got Ghulam Foot Archers. So it should be enough. Military access for these guys. No, I'm sorry I will not give you military access. There we go. Mosul has had a rebellion. The mission succeeded. We did that. Excellent. Okay, and we've now got a new heir. Okay. Oh my gosh. So much stuff has gone on. Ray's about to have a rebellion as well. I swear I sought Ray out and I thought it was uh, going to be okay, but apparently not. Anyway, you go and deal with your issues here. This place is still starving. This is not great. These people are still starving. Put them down. Kill these guys. Come on, chop them down. Everyone's diseased over here. Take on the men. My lord. On the move, my uh, let's put replenishment in and morale. There we go. Integrity is also going to be an issue. Oh, we got the catapult. Um, actually, yeah, I'll keep the catapult. Even though that's massively hurt. Why is my economy so hurt? Uh, military investment merv. Yeah, I did that. Uh, nominated. I have no idea why my why they're so hurt, but oh well. Um, we've also got... We've only got two governors. Oh, that's not good. That's probably the reason why, then. Um, I'm going to also put... Well, you're in there, right? So we're going to have to also put some guys that are random characters in. Okay. We've got Ryder. We've got Entrepreneur. You can go into... I'm going to change up the places that have the... Uh, have them. I'm going to have Ray can have one, and then... You the other one? No, you're a patron... It's probably the one we want. Is it in Baghdad? No, it's not. Baghdad still has theirs. No, it doesn't actually. Where is Baghdad? And why can't I put one there? Why can't I... Because Baghdad's converted to a... Oh, of course. That's the reason why I've got a terrible economy. Because Baghdad's had a civil war. Very well, then. Can I force march? A little bit, but not much. So Baghdad has uh, rebelled. I didn't realise we... Wavering loyalty. Oh, yeah, that guy that had awful loyalty. Um, so we'll sort that out in a minute. Um, brilliant. 
so that's the reason why my economy's just hit the bucket. You're not the one that's besieging. That's it's you. So the my my crown prince, which is now the leader, is over here, doing his thing, chopping people down, killing Mongols. Occupy. Uh, we might need to send this other army back to the west. Uh, and then what is the? Okay, Sunni is um is going up. Good. And we'll um, what's this? A Javan house? I don't need this. I'm gonna make this a that a uh, holy place. You can have that, and you can have integrity as well. There we go. Why is your integrity going down? Is it civil war due reasons? Yeah, probably. Yep, civil war is causing issues everywhere, left, right, and center. Okay. I'm going to slow the taxes down here. Make this place happy with public order. It is an honor to serve. And then the pride of Islam. There we go. We, our economy is looking a little better, but not brilliant. How far can you reach? You can go all the way down to Basra if you wanted to. Or you could get a, a long way into Basra. So I'm going to put you there. You can't reach there. I'm going to give you... Oh, I can't get the rubbish cheap arches here. What a shame. But you can't reach here. Which I know can build the rubbish cheap arches. So. There they are, the rubbish cheap arches. I can only get one of them. Only one rubbish cheap archer. Right, you, sir, carry on here. Like nothing's nothing's happening. There we go. So that's doubled the uh, that. Baghdad. This garrison's not looking great. So we end the turn. Oh, I can build an edict here in Basra. Okay, very well. Have settled tribes and stuff like that. That should help with the economy. I'll do one more turn to end this civil war, and then we will well deal with the issues. Uh, of the of the civil war basically <laughs> we'll end the turn deal with the issues of the civil war then wrap up this episode um yeah we've had a lot of uh, setbacks it would seem i forgot that that guy had waving loyalty i meant to deal with him but uh, i clearly forgot and it, i paid the price baghdad is going has fallen to uh, the rebels temporarily we will take it at the end of this turn though because i now have a catapult so i'm pretty sure i can assault straight away and I also can bring up that other army in the south that's been at Basra for a few turns. It looks like the Ayyubids might take on, uh, well, might be dealing with Antioch and stuff like that for me, which I kind of appreciate, but at the same time, I really wanted to take the land for myself. But yes, yeah, so we're having a few setbacks, and we will uh, slowly build up these armies again. Peace treaty? Um, no, sorry, Ayyubid pretenders. You're, you're being dealt with, it would seem. Mecca also coming up. And there you go, Baghdad has... Decides to sit inside its uh, its town. Mosul, yep. Yeah. Sea spreads, no surprise. Okay, and smallpox, of course. It's just more disease. More diseases. I can't seem to get rid of them at the moment. At least Baghdad doesn't have one. Because the AI now controls it. Um, so I'm just going to... Actually, I'm just going to just continue the siege temporarily. We'll bring up that other army from Basra temporarily. Put it here. To victory. And there we go. We can attack. And take this for ourselves. Baghdad is retaken. And we get rid of all disloyal members of this faction. Chop them down. We lost our catapult, but that's fine. I didn't really want it any longer than just to take this. And our economy now looks a lot better. Rebuild everything in Baghdad. And there we go. The economy is going to look real nice now. Um, let's build more of the cheap arches. Yeah, I'm fine having three of the cheap arches. Any more than that's a bit a bit OTT. So let's now put in a. Can we? Do we have anyone of age? That, ah, yes, we do. You can Abdullah can be my governor for Baghdad now. There we go. So we're going to have plenty of people of age that can do plenty of stuff. Let's see if we can get any marriages, because we've got lots of people that the can marry. Of my lots of people that can marry. Of my no, apparently not. Um, Seljuk, can you the provide? My... No. Greetings, my Arrange a marriage, there we go. I think it'll be you can have... Of your noble and worthy words. 
There we go. I'll have that, that woman for 7,000, 7, sorry. not. So yes, we're slowly, slowly recouping our uh, our losses, if you put it like that. We are still dealing with a few issues. Um, these guys I don't really want to be at war with. Can I make peace? Nope. Okay, right. I might push on for the Mongols right now because it's looking okay here. This place I was going to make a holy place, um, I think. Black. I don't really need a blacksmith either. I don't know why I'd want that in. I'm going to put the, push this army on, Bane of Christendom, to Gorgon. Ah, a small army here. With a very large garrison, though. Um, if I pulled you out, you go minus 17. So I'm going to keep you here a couple more turns. I might military invest the other place for a few turns. But we have expanded a little bit. We've taken Merv, and we've retaken Baghdad after losing it, uh, which is an issue was an issue. Um, Grand Palace could put that in. What's the issue with... Oh no, food's okay. Mosul also doesn't look awful. Mosul's actually looking okay now. It's actually not looking too bad. I'm going to put a Grand Palace in. You can just build more troops. I'm going to get you to build these good arches. I call them good, but they're 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 okay. <laughs> they're okay, but yeah, that's where we're gonna wrap up today's episode, I think, guys. Um, yeah, so we've had a few setbacks. I hope you've enjoyed, though. Um, so please do remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment to show your support. Looks like Antioch might be taken by the Antioch Pretenders. That'll be interesting. Um, so yeah, if you want to see more of this campaign and show your support, carry up, carry on with the subscribing if you're new around here. Leave a like as well and a comment if you've got any recommendations of what I should do uh, in my next moves. Um, but yeah, and until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys 